A boat full of migrants show up at a beach near the homes of famous people. <laughs> and that's funny because they wanted this. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah everyone's laughing. We, we love this stuff. Yeah, earlier this week, a boat filled with illegals landed at the beach in Malibu, California, near the homes of famous Hollywood stars. The video, which Bill Melugan of Fox News exclusively obtained, shows a group of illegals getting off a boat on shore this past Thursday. Approximately 25 people were on the boat, which was abandoned afterwards. Oh, look at that. The celebrities in the area include Cher, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Barbara Streisand. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Hey, uh, migrants, you guys are welcome to stay in those houses if you can get in somehow. <laughs> yeah, hey, have fun hiring armed guards now. Share. Yeah. Share the... the le I'm going to leave America if uh, DT wins. Do you believe in love after love? Stupid. Are you still in America? I thought you were going to leave. You didn't leave for even a second. What's going on? Bill Melligan said in his report that these kinds of tactics are common in Europe, but would not be common to a local location like Malibu because of its distance to the southern border. It is unclear if any of the illegals were taken into custody. Well, the reason why they had to come into the coast is because the border patrols are now looking for Iranian teas. Okay, so these guys are not your regular migrants. They're people who would be turned away and arrested at the southern border, which is not anybody from Mexico, not anybody from South America, okay? These people are real, real bad guys. That's what's going on. Ironically, a lot of these celebrities have opposed any policies to secure the southern border. Yeah, both Cher and Barbara Streisand have been opposed to DT's plan to leave the country and, and said that they will leave the country if, they're, if he was reelected. Yeah, good. Then deal with it. Let him in your house. Let him stay. Let them make C4 at your place. Yeah? Yeah. It will be interesting to see if they plan to keep their commitment to leave. It's just funny. I, I'll tell you this. It's funny that um, uh, well, we know that they don't really care about the migrants. They just want to destroy America. They want to do it on behalf of Switzerland, right? The New World Order. Uh, but it's just funny that now the, the, the left is they're barely starting to realize this. Okay. Uh, if you didn't catch the, uh, the, 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 the news blip, uh, because he's so irrelevant now, Arnold Schwarzenegger actually went to go visit the hosties that were freed, uh, in uh, Palestine. And, uh, now the left are, they're melting down. They're like, Hey, you're supposed to be on our side. <laughs> no, they don't. They're not. They're not. The only reason why. The, the celebrities ever supported a free Palestine was because the Zionists were trying to destroy America. Okay? And now they need us because no one else wants to defend Israel. That's hilarious, isn't it? Oh, how are you going to unsubvert our country now? It takes 15 to 20 years to subvert a nation. Okay? You have spent the last 50 destroying this country. So how are you going to do it now? You hear that? You hear that Iran, Russia, and China? You've got... 15 to 20 years to sweep, take over Europe, China. I'm sure you, you'll you take over, uh, you know, the, all of Southeast Asia, uh, uh, Middle East. I'm sure you'll take over all of Africa and they will regret ever, um, you know, messing with us. They'll, they'll, they'll regret not appreciating us. Huh? There you go. There you go. Yeah, when I was in LA, I knew a uh, Thai immigrant who actually uh, is under uh, the George Soros payroll and is actually taking money to like gang stock, white Americans, Christians, Republicans, and things like that. And now we've got George Soros uh, meddling in Thai elections. Yeah, trying to screw over that country. Trying to use Thailand as a proxy country to go after China. Oh, big mistake there. She probably should have supported, supported Trump, but you did it. And now your people, your, your people, I see you're lucky, you're lucky, Nat, that your people in uh, Thailand, they're not smart enough to understand all this. They don't understand that you sold out your, your home country for money. Not even a lot of money, just like some lunch money, you know, you know, I mean, you're still working, right? Your wife's still working. You're still, you're still a, a regular everyday citizen, but at least you feel powerful, right? Oh, we get to stalk white people and, and Christians and mothers and MAGA grandmas. Yeah. Yeah. Smart, smart. Hey, your, your country will not exist soon and you'll be required to speak Chinese in Thailand. And in fact, Thailand won't even exist anymore. They just call it new China. Yeah. Smart move, not. 